Okay, so we've gotten to step five now, and what we'd like to do is just make sure that the rig that we've set up corresponds nicely to our mesh. Uh, and there's a number of things that we may have to correct since we used the default with automatic weights when we did do the parenting. And so often that may lead to problems. First thing I'll do is select the, uh, the skeleton. Control tab puts us in a pose mode, or we can just click down here. And we'll just test a few to make sure they're working. Incidentally, one key I'll show you, R, if you hit it once, rotates nicely. If you hit R twice, we can do an interesting three-dimensional rotation. And notice how the, uh, the model is following the mouse quite differently than when you hit R once. And I'm just hitting Escape to get out of that. Okay, uh, one other thing I should mention too is we could also display the bones differently by clicking on Stick. And if you notice, they simply look like sticks, but they behave exactly the same way if we rotate them. Uh, it doesn't really matter which method you use. Sometimes sticks is a little bit uh, less obtrusive, but that's, that's up to you. Okay, so back to pose mode. Uh, I'm going to rotate the mesh. And then what I'm going to do is select the mesh. So we're in pose mode with the bone selected, but I'm going to right-click on the mesh. Then hit Control tab which normally would put us into pose mode if we had the bone selected. But if we're already in pose mode and we go to the mesh, right click and hit control tab, we can go into weight paint mode. And this is where we can actually see the deformations in real time. Uh, and so actually I'll just bend that a little bit. And what, we, what I can do now is fine tune those deformations. Uh, and that's selected over here. You can see that our weight is one, which means that any changes we make, and I'll just scroll along. So as, as we select vertices that will be impacted, it's setting the, the, the default to full on, essentially. We could also decrease that. I'll take that down to zero, and we should get the reverse effect as I undo all of those. I think what's going to be easier, though, is Control Z, because I've obviously messed this up pretty good, and that takes us back to where we were. Before we get too into that, though, I'm going to scroll down. And what we should do is select X mirror. Now that's going to X mirror for this bone, but we should select all of them. Make sure X mirror is on, and it is. Now I can select a single bone. And as I make changes with weight painting, uh, those changes that I make on one side should impact the other side equally. Okay, there's not a lot we're going to have to change here. It actually did a pretty good job. Uh, I'll just check them all out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Maybe a little less influence up high. So what we'll do is set weight to zero. And I'll just remove some in here. Okay, not quite sure why we're not getting the effect I want. There we go. Okay, select this bone, rotate. And again, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, one that I know is not going to quite work is the head. You can see it actually pretty much chose that mesh that we uh, inserted for the head, but I'd like it to affect the shoulders a little bit. So I'm going to take this back up to one. I'm just going to add a little bit along the neck and shoulders. So when we rotate the head, you can see it has some impact on the shoulders. One problem though, if you notice, when I rotate, uh, the eyes don't move along with the mesh. And that's because we parented the eyes to the mesh but they, in fact, have to be parented to one of the bones. And that is something that we're going to get to uh, uh, in the next tutorial. Okay, one more thing, one last thing I'll show you in this tutorial. Anytime we make uh, deformations or a series of deformations, if we want to return those bones back to exactly where they were, uh, there's two ways we can do it. One is we can try to uh, rotate them back, but that's going to be a little bit awkward. It's going to be difficult to get them exactly where they were. What we can do is select all bones, A key once again, and then we can hit, instead of R for rotate, we hit the Alt R key. So Alt first, then R, and that returns it to its, uh, its initial position. And that is it for this tutorial.